Hi, welcome to CSCpedia. Today, we're going to discuss about one of the most important concept in discrete mathematics, well-formed formulas. We simply call it as WFF. Okay, so what is this well-formed formulas? We know what statements are, right? So yesterday we discussed about uh, different statements and how we uh, connect all those statements what are the different connectives so all we discussed in the earlier classes so now once we know what is statement then it will be very easier for us to understand well formed formulas so before going to actual concept first we'll know what are statement formulas okay so we have simple statements we have compound statements so simple statements are individual statements okay so uh, they stay single they will not mingle with any other if it's a compound statement then they have a bonding with other statements for example if i say p if i say q those are simple statements so p is identical and q is different identical uh, p is nowhere related to q and q is nowhere related to p but if i connect those two using connectives so uh, there is no rule that you can use only one connective you can use any connectives or many connectives then that sort of a statement are called compound statement composite statement or molecular statement okay so if you see the definition here so first i'm talking about simple statements statements which do not contain any connectives statements which do not contain any connectives are called atomic statements or simple statements so the, uh, we can call it as atomic statements it doesn't contain any connective for example if i say p so it is raining then you uh, you may get a, a doubt in your mind like p is a single statement right even negation p is single right why because there is no other uh, statement uh, q is present in p i am saying p and negation p but remember in negation p you have a connective so what is simple statement or atomic statement here statements which do not contain any connectives are called atomic statements or um, simple statements so perfect examples are uh, you, you may call p you may call q you may call r like that so what about molecular statements or compound statements statements which contain one or more primary statements are called molecular or composite or compound and remember we can use connectives here so some perfect examples of molecular or composite or compound statements are if p and q are two simple statements why i am calling p and q are two simple statements well, because they are individual so p is no related with q and q is no related with p until unless we make it as compound remember so until unless we make it as compound or composite they are individual statements or we call them as simple statements so what i am doing here if p and q are two simple statements compound statements formed are and remember negation p here q is not connected with p but there is a connective before p so negation p is a compound statement p or q so p or q i have a, a connective here or p or q or negation p so these are combinations so these are called composite statements so once you understood this uh, simple uh, simple statements and compound statement then it will be easier for you to understand well formed formulas so we'll see what well formed formulas are so what are well formed formulas here so first we will understand about symbols and properties of well formed formulas so what are symbols and what properties we follow for well formed formulas the symbols are the first one is connectives so we know different connectives right negation and or implies by conditional so these are all connectives right second one equality so if you say p equals to q so that's equality symbol and third one parenthesis so i'm not i'm not talking about uh, 
flower braces i'm talking about open brace and closed brace and variables so x y z so on so these are all symbols basically so when can we call a string a formula a string is called a formula if it has some following properties so when can a string be called as a formula so the following properties so here comes our well formed formula so formula is none other than well formed formulas so i can't simply call it as formulas so it should be well formed so first one a statement variable standing alone so statement variable standing alone in the sense for example if i give negation p so does it have any other statements with it no right it has only p and the negation symbol that is connective so even a statement variable standing alone can be well formed formula and second one if p is a formula then negation p is also a formula and if p and q are formulas then you uh, you have different combinations right uh, p and q p or q p implies q p double implies q and all so all these are called well formed formulas i hope you understood so these are some basic examples of well formed formulas negation of p and q p implies p or q p implies q implies r negation of negation p and negation q like that so we have many examples of well formed formulas so i hope you understood well formed formulas right so once we know the well formed formulas then in examinations they may ask like this construct a truth table and they will give a well formed formula uh, if you take this example p implies q implies r so you should construct a truth table for this first so here how many variables do you have here p q r that means you are having three variables so you should write p q r q implies r p implies of q implies r and finally you get final value okay so for example if you have like this p implies q or q implies r so you should, the main focus is you should know how many variables do you have in your well formed formula okay so i hope you understood well formed formulas so if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel please share our videos with all your friends and well wishers and please uh, subscribe our channel thank you thank you very much and have a nice day